Hey guys, how's it going? Tally Tabby back again with a new series, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I have not played this yet. I have played maybe just five minutes of the beginning just to see how things were. It becomes hopelessly blurred and nowhere as vividly as in Night Springs. Night Springs. So I've never played any of the Alan Wake. The man before you is a champion of light. Games before. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Alrighty then. has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Okay. So like I was saying, I've never played any of the Alan Wake games, so this is a completely new thing to me. <laughs> Alright. Um. <laughs> now what? Let's have a look. Oh, pretty sky. Pretty sky. That's one of these flashlight games, huh? Okay, oh look. A lighthouse. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Hmm. Bird leg cabin? Captain? <laughs> uh, okay. Somebody can't spell. <laughs> Press L3 to boost your flashlight. Oh. Okay. I can do that. What else is around here? So my flashlight is a weapon? What does that say? Diver's Isle. Alrighty. How did I end up here? Checkpoint reached. Oh! Checkpoints are always good in horror games, aren't they? <laughs> uh, oh, what is there? <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> this is about as far as I played, by the way, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh, is this one of those ones that at the aim is slightly off? Okay. It's gonna be like that again, huh? <laughs> I th whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. Oh, hello, pretty. Oh, hello. Can I get a headshot, please? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Leave the canyon, I would love to. <laughs> Seems like a disturbing place. What's what's the go? Is there anything hiding in here? Is it one of those sort of games where I can find stuff if I look around? Or not so much. Okay. In another life, the man was a writer. Okay. He still practices that art forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Mm. 
Uh, what's this over here? Manuscript page. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Hmm. Okay, interesting backstory. Oh! <laughs> Full moon. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to do something with this thing? No. <laughs> And all right, what's going on? The lights of the motel promise safety. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> the man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Uh, that wouldn't be my first guess. What you never saw, Psycho? <laughs> I think that might be where your problems begin. <laughs> well, okay. Somewhere within the earth. Space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Uh, well, um, guys, sometimes running away is the best option. <laughs> That was pretty much my first thought. Brightly lit areas can provide. Okay, let's run. How do I run? Is this as fast as I'll? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, B. I'm oh, sorry. I can't stay here now. Yes, I, I got that. Can I holster my weapon somehow? No, that's reloading, Tabitha. <laughs> no, that's jumping. Yes, I'm escaping to the motel. Can I? T out of batteries. Y yeah, can I? Oh, re oh, really? This is one of those. <laughs> Get the unfit guy. All right. Um. <laughs> Can I get in the car? Am I stealing a car now? <laughs> Suddenly turned into J uh, JTA. <laughs> GTA. Um. All right. What's going on? Shall I go have a look and see if I can find? Whoa! Hello. Investigate the garage. Is there a body in there? <laughs> Vacancy, of course there is. Where do I find Norman around here? The safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. Oh. <laughs> Unlock weapon crates by finding hidden manuscript pages and blast your enemies with serious firepower. Three. Oh, okay. Read, tap the read. <laughs> Hello? Hey, buddy. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can call her buddy too. <laughs> I thought it was a dude for a second. Hey, it's you. Oh, we know each other. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? No. I think you might have something that belongs <laughs> to me. Really? Whip names. Typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. We haven't actually met before. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me. Even if he uses my name, he's oh, behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you gonna tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. 
The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. <laughs> you can think what you want about me, but there's still bad it's guys pretty around. casual Be about careful. that information. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... Well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it. Because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. <laughs> I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. <laughs> Why does he look drunk or something? What was that you said about my aura? Oh, I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras. But I only use it for healing and helping people. Mm -hmm. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. <laughs> Way to Look, treat your own Just because I say crazy like things woman, doesn't you know? mean I believe everything. Okay. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. Oh, look, I can move. I didn't realize And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no. Not as such. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh-huh. It's like those ghost uh, television shows. They always seem to... <laughs> this nice family happens to move into a... Well, what's this? Nail gun. Hmm. You know what? I think I'd prefer a gun. <laughs> Nail gun could be fun. Yeah, those nice families seem to always move into a haunted house and then <laughs> they just happen to, their best friend happens to be a psychic or some sort of faith healer or a priest or something. Like, or a paranormal investigator. Like, that's the most common job in the world. <laughs> the champion of light recognizes the page he got from the woman. Wait a second. What's it is that? a weapon of his own design custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Okay. Interesting narration. Pick up flare. Okay. What is this thing out here? Oh, is this another page? I had a feeling. Sort of reminded me of Slender Man a bit there. Uh, new reality, pages and instincts. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. And what did this one say? I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this. But I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind. My memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do. Even if the details elude me. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Find the three items for rewriting reality. Okay, it's sort of weird over there. There's something over there, but I should go back and get that, um... Weapon. Hmm, I feel like I should get the weapon before I turn it on. 
this isn't my first rodeo. I know that certain things trigger things. Hmm. Oh, my television's everywhere. Interesting. Where is that gun case gone? There it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I guess it's about time I went full auto. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that idea. Um, let's see. Here. Checkpoint raged. Oh. The mini map on the top. Yes, I know how mini maps work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gosh, is that somebody? All oh, right, I'm guessing. Am I supposed to take that vehicle over there? Well, I guess I should sort of go around here. It's a motel. It's cars. There seem to be a lot of cars, but not a lot of people. Drink anyone? <laughs> um. Turn on. Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the boast. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time. Get out of Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. There's some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. <laughs> well, now I've got two of the original old guys in the studio. Is it important for me to listen to that? <laughs> Let's say no. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Oh hell, this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> Is this on? Uh -huh. How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. Ah, that's more like it. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Yes. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell bent on ruining your life? <laughs> You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. <laughs> do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. Alrighty. So quiet. Okay. Sorry, that's an interesting character. <laughs> um, alright, so... What is this? Danger, yeah, of course. That looks like something that I could blow up. I was expecting to be overrun or something. <laughs> What is going on? I can't get in here. Am I supposed to go up to the m other place that's up here? What is this? Oh, it's a diner. Okay. 
Can I hold? Whoa. Okay. I. <laughs> That's what that button does. Okay. I want to turn off this. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm... yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> now I'm wasting ammunition. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Actually, that's... Mm, I don't know. Can I go in here? No. What's in there? Can't really... Nothing of importance on... Guessing. What was that noise? Okay. What the? Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, you guys don't die easy, do you? Find the three items for rewriting reality. Okay. <laughs> I'm just wandering around over here. I'm not really paying attention. Okay, so there's something over here. I want to turn off this thing so I don't run out of batteries so quick. How do I do that? went past oh okay I can restore that's right I forgot about that little tidbit hello there. let's run wouldn't it be better if I could turn off the torch or flashlight as the Americans call it all right you guys gonna come at me Basically, everybody in this town has turned into some sort of demon or something. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so let's go over here, I guess. It's good. Oh, I see. I see you. I think. You're here, I can see you. Oh, okay, I've got to go around this side. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Of course. Oh, crap. I'm running out of batteries! <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Ah. <laughs> no! Okay, run you, run, what are you doing? <laughs> I need ammo. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Is he there? Oh, no! <laughs> come on, you. Oh, wow, that drains the battery quicker. Oh, I see, it doesn't drain it unless you do that. Okay. I see. Come on, come at me. What? Whoa, what? I was standing. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, I was standing under a light! You failed me. Let's go over here. Oh, hello. Hello there. <laughs> go away, you. Whoa, hello. Pick up shotgun ammo. I can't carry anymore. Oh, of course. 
Alright, so let's go back over here and get this. Uh, uh, where was it? It was here. Ah, uh, that's a battery. That's one thing down. Yep. Okay, so we need to find two more items. Hmm. Hmm. Can I climb? No. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't be fun. Alright. Oh, that's right. I saw something over here before, didn't I? Uh, okay, yeah, this is a... <laughs> yeah, this looks safe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I was expecting something to be hiding behind there. What's this? Is it something dead? Oh no. <laughs> wow, I'm grim. <laughs> it's just a pile of cloth or something. Okay, here we go. Alright, what's this got to say? Rewriting reality. The reality we take for granted is softer, more adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it, turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget, it's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. Okay. Good for you, buddy. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not... The game seems fine. I'm not officially... Uh, completely into it yet. Let's go and use a better phrase than that, but whoa, 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 am I seeing something standing out there? Oh no, it's trees. <laughs> uh, can you imagine how fun it is driving with me at night? <laughs> There's something standing there. It's a tree. It's a rock. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Go away, you. The enemy tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Yes, sorry. Such as the original Oh, wow. Really? So it keeps multiplying? Well, that's, that's great. Can I... Oh, headshots. Bye, Z bye. <laughs> Oh, look, I can go in somewhere creepy. Creepy! That was just messed up. Yeah, it was a little bit, wasn't it, buddy? Alright. <laughs> ah! <laughs> just kidding. Um, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Is that a Pepsi? I don't know. I'm saying things. <laughs> Don't even really want a Pepsi right now. Uh, pick up carbine rifle, yes. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's two. Just one more to go. Uh, another checkpoint? <laughs> What's gonna come out at me now? Hmm. Is that all these people live on? Beer? <laughs> That's not a good thing. That's not a healthy diet, people. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Um, taking it all in. I, f I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. I'll try to keep these videos about half an hour. So we'll finish up very soon, as soon as I find this last item. Uh, let's see here. Let's carry something less bulky, it looks a bit weird running with a shotgun. Um, alright. Where is this thing? Mm, is that it? Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Well, that one. Oh, axe, axe, axe. <laughs> that guy has an axe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello. Really? Oh, the hell are <laughs> Really? How many times can you get shot with a shotgun? Really? <laughs> I think that should take you up pretty much immediately. <laughs> That's everything. Okay. The man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. Talk to Emma about the battery. Okay, I can do that. I need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. That was quick. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just... Please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec, I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memories a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a... a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So, you might have brain damage, you're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another Same dimension. Difference. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. <laughs> She's keeping it real. Okay guys, we'll leave it there for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos. I love having your company every week. You guys are awesome. Want to see more videos? You can check out my blog for lots more videos, personal blog posts, and links to free games. Who doesn't like free stuff, right? Thanks so much for watching everybody. I've been Telly Tabby. Be kind to yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye, everybody! Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now.